Well, 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 we'll launch the proceedings with a look-see at the veteran Goldie Rogers. 223 out of Hollywood, California. He's in against a loudmouth that answers to the name J.T. Law from before Austin, you get Texas. Way, before you get under way, Ed Wellen, it's just my great pleasure to welcome you back to ringside. Listen, you Boy, are your missed. tune changes. And I tell you the truth, I, I know everybody has to learn their lesson. But listen, when you get suspended... I haven't got a lesson to learn. Not with this show. You've been gone three weeks on a suspension by the IWA. <laughs> On holidays, let's get this straight. Suspension indeed. Right now, JT Law is being suspended by one Goldie Rogers. And when you talk about suspensions, I understand that the IWA is about to lift the suspensions on Johnny Smith and the Dynamite Kid. And that's going to set the stage for the dog fight of the decade somewhere down the line. Well, you know, I, I never did uh, think that the suspension should have taken place. I think the IWA jumped to conclusions, and right away they wanted to make a name for themselves, especially the local authorities, go ahead and suspend them without a hearing. Now, you know, they're quite active at doing this, suspending people without a hearing. You know, in this country of Canada and the United States, everybody's got the... Blood pressure, still no, terrible. No, everybody's got a right to a trial. This is a free country, and everybody's got the right to speak, whether it's right or wrong. And I think the suspension of Dynamite Kid, Johnny Smith, and the Weasel was not called for. You're quite a politician. Quite a politician. There's a two count. I have not told you, have I, that the third man in the ring is David Putnam. Referee, I have not seen in action. What do you think of David? Well, he's been doing a tremendous job throughout the area and uh, all the wrestling fans just love him he don't stand for any nonsense i tell you wrestlers get checked if they're found with foreign objects it's automatically one hundred dollars i don't know who sent him in here or if this is just a, a way of cracking down on professional athletes like you say it but believe me you haven't saw him but you can ask jim davis he's been doing a job and a half hasn't he jim, jim uh, davis <laughs> That'll be Davies, actually, and uh, David Putnam uh, is a big boy, so he can handle some of the guys when they're giving him some guff, but he's been a little questionable. It seems that uh, he has a, a large eye gleaned onto uh, some of the, the popular wrestlers who are generally clean wrestlers, and he seems to let an awful lot go from uh, some of the questionable wrestlers. You see? You see? I think there's a difference of opinion here. Okay, we're at the five-minute mark. Why did I think that there was going to be an opinion between you two guys? I'm just calling it. Now, you're going to stay, uh, stand by and watch the, watch the kid in action. Watch you him just be week. quiet. I want to watch a match. Enough blather. This is Goldie Rogers and J.T. Law. Goldie, isn't he cute? Boy, he delivers a mean elbow to the throat. Well, that Putnam kid is very quick. And there's a lot of Gets few, over. There's, there's a couple few things that you haven't been, you know, been brought up to. You know, Bruce Hart has been beat up the last three weeks. He's been carried out of the ring on two different occasions. Uh, his father stuck his nose in the business again. Dean Hart got it, got his nose clipped. All the hearts are being controlled right now at this instant moment by Kerry Brown and Bulldog Bob Brown, even though he's got Ricky Rice as a partner. And later on in this show, <laughs> every time I think out about it, I have to laugh because it's a mismatch. Kerry Brown and Bulldog Bob Brown is going to go on to big victories tonight. Over the two guys, we're going to stop them before they ever get started. Ricky Rice and uh, Bruce Hart. What a senseless fool that uh, uh, Hart is. That's your opinion. <laughs> okay. All right, we're watching Goldie Rogers against J.T. Law. Rogers from Hollywood. Law out of Austin, Texas. David Putnam, third man in the ring. This is a one-fall affair. There's a 15-minute time limit hereabouts. You didn't expect to see me. I launched myself. I couldn't wait to get into this in front of this microphone once again. I really missed you. Yeah, I'm sure you did. You bad-mouthed me from here to Timbuktu.
You know who asked for you in Korea and Thailand and Singapore? Oh, well, there should be a lot of people. Nobody. There should be a lot of people. Nobody. Because I tell you what, totally. Oh, quite popular. Over they there. said Bulldog who? Matter of fact, in one of those countries with Bulldogs, they put them in a pot. All right, the claw hold. This law talks a good game. JT Law, and he says he is the law. We're moving toward the 10 minute mark. Putting a bit of a claw hold on the left shoulder. I'm going to a place not too far away, a place that you're quite familiar with. You know, I'm going up to Vancouver, BC. I'm going up Great to Vic city. I'm going up to Victoria, BC. You know, BC brings back a lot of memories. I can yeah. always can remember what they did to the Flames. <laughs> Seems to me the Calgary Flames of the National Hockey League last time I checked at the Stanley Cup. I don't know what you're laughing about. I can't wait to get back to Vancouver and Victoria. You know what kind of a car that was. Hey, listen, they still talk about, to me on the street about, about the wrestling from uh, British Columbia. Where's Bulldog Bob Brown? You don't have to worry about it. I'm coming back. I'm coming back to wrestle. And I hope I Great. get my hands on Bruce Hart, Chris Benoit, Ricky Rice, or even maybe Gene Kaniski if he comes out of retirement. Well, Gino in his day would have had your lunch, my friend. Underneath, absolutely. There's a good clothesline, and the law gets laid down right in mid-ring. We're moving toward the 10-minute mark. As mentioned, one fall, 15 minutes. Also going to Kelowna, going to Kamloops. Going to Williams Lake Stampede. All right. Second to none, uh, you know. But I tell you, the second biggest uh, rodeo in the country. Of course, you know, Calgary's number one. But I'm looking forward to going to Stampede. Yeah, right. And I hear it could be, hey, could be the dog fight of the uh, the world right there. You know who I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. The dog fight, the British Bulldogs, and uh, yeah, a lot of people in wrestling are talking about the breakup of that great team. And they're blaming me for it. I don't know why. I've no doubt that somehow you got your sticky fingers in there. You know, William Blake, you know, is the wildest place in BC. Yeah, okay, enough, enough. This is Goldie Rogers and JT Law in the corner. Law coming back strong now. Hammering away at his man. We're at the 10 minute mark, says Bill Hunt, our timekeeper tonight. And right now it's Law doing the pitching. Can he get him? This you know, is a tricky guy, this Goldie Rogers. Yeah, and you know, Law has been around. You know, he's been around for three or four years. He was here some time ago, but he didn't pan out too good. But hey, watching him now, it looks like a different person. So I think, hey, maybe when he went home uh, back to the United States of America, he got into training with some star of professional wrestling, because he's quite changed. Don't you think, Ed? Yeah, he's much more effective as right. we remember him the last time. A little bit rougher, maybe, but he needs that against a guy like Goldie Rogers. Rogers seems to be in trouble, but I have seen him play possum on many an occasion. <laughs> well, now, you see what I mean about Rogers? With him, it's not over till it's over. Rogers going to drive him across that ring. Look out, Nelly caught him beautifully with that clothesline. He's going to give him the big smash and the cover. One, two, oh. close call, close call. And that David Putnam, don't hold back. He almost counted him out. Got to lift those shoulders, you know. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's a little tough in the midsection. The cover, one, two. No, he got it up in the ropes. J.T. Law is just hanging on now. Goldie Rogers in control of things. Well, Law threw him off on the attempted neck breaker. Well, Goldie Rogers went to give him the neck breaker, and Law was close to the ropes. He hung on, and he took his own thing. Now here comes the uh, DDT. I don't think that Goldie Rogers is going to get out of this end. He didn't. 
He didn't. J.G. Law scoring the win. You surprised? I'm really surprised uh, of the victory. Uh, I'll tell you the truth, I was pulling for Goldie Rogers, but J.G. came up, and he's quite an improved wrestler since the last time he was here. It's a big win for this young man. Okay.